Hello, this is Dr. Leo at Lee Time. What's in your mind when you heard the ginger? It's gingerbread, ginger cookie, ginger tea. Ginger has a long history being used in the food preparation and also the medicine use. Ginger has been written in the Chinese history book from 5,000 years ago and also recorded use in Europe in the 9th century from Germany and to France. And when I was a kid, I got a cold. My mom always sliced a piece of uh, the ginger, put in the warm water and add a bit of uh, brown sugar. This makes me feel much more comfortable. It can help reduce the cold and also feel comfortable in the stomach. In the modern time, uh, research found that ginger oil is the chemical brings the spicy flavor in the ginger. A lot of research proves ginger oil has antioxidants, anti-diabetics, anti-cancer, you know, there's a lot of benefits. In this video, I will talk more practical knowledge about how to use ginger. We have a fresh ginger, dry ginger, which one is better and how do we use them? And we heard about ginger is good for hair growth, but is that true? And there's a piece of a study that did a detailed analysis about the chemical in ginger and how that impact the hair growth. The results could be surprise you. And at last, I will talk about the uses of a ginger tea and a ginger essential oil and hydrosol. What's the difference between the tea and the essential oil and hydrosol? And what are the benefits of these two different ways to extract the ginger? The first benefit is ginger for the motion sickness. There was a study having 18 male and female students who has the motion sickness. Each member in the test group was given 940 milligram of a ginger and as a compare with the placebo group having the medicine dimethyltryptamine, The result proved the ginger has much better benefits of reducing the motion sickness compared with the placebo group. Even though the group number is small, but it's still promising proof the benefits of using the ginger to reduce the motion sickness. If you have the problem next time before travel, Prepare a slice of a ginger or having the ginger candy with you. This can help you relieve and make you feel more comfortable. The second benefit is ginger to reduce the pain. Many clinical studies approve the benefits of using the ginger to reduce the pain. In one study, double-blinded, placebo-controlled experiment, the test group was given a 2 gram of the ginger powder compared with a placebo group for the consecutive of 11 days. They prove after 24 hours of taking the ginger, it can help significantly reduce the pain caused by the exercise. The other study, they measure the ginger as a benefit on the menstrual cramps pain. And the test group was given the ginger 500 milligram a time, three times a day, and they show the five days of uh, the ginger treatment. That means two days before and three days during the period. And they giving the ginger make a significantly reduce the pain feeling and make them feel much more comfortable. So both of the study proved the ginger's benefits are reducing pains. The third one is about ginger essential oil help reduce nausea. In a clinical study, for the patients after the anesthesia and IV, and they give the ginger essential oil aromatherapy, and they found 80% of the patients have reduction of the nausea, and only 20% doesn't show much effects. This is a pretty good result by just using the ginger essential oil can help reduce, you know, the patients have a multiple medicines during the IV and they reduce their nausea, you know, post the operation. None of them have adverse effects or bleeding caused by the ginger essential oil. 
What they did is uh, they dilute the ginger essential oil to 5% in the grape seed oil and they wrap on the, the wrist so they can smell it before and after the operation and this gives it the benefits. Now let's talk about the ginger for hair growth. There was a debate about the effects of using ginger on the hair growth. Ginger has the benefits of antimicrobial, antibacteria. It's good to help clean the acne on the, you know, the, the skin, on the hair, and keep have a healthy environment. But one cell study proved that ginger, that's the major bioactive compound in ginger, doesn't help the hair growth actually reverse the effect. Ginger help inhibit the hair growth. So next time if you want to clean the hair, you can use a ginger extract, but don't use the ginger to help improve the hair growth. Now let's talk about the fresh or dry ginger. There was a study found that the fresh ginger does help relieve the constipation, but the dry ginger on the other side, it suck up the water and make a constipation. So it's good for diarrhea, but worse for the constipation. This is interesting. So research found that the chemistry composition from the fresh ginger and the dry ginger a little bit different. With water extraction, the fresh ginger can make more polyphenols like a gingero. Gingero or other polyphenols are antioxidants. We know they are good. And these polyphenols contain within the fresh ginger extract is 30% more than that from uh, the dry ginger. But for the flavonoids, it's interesting, there are more extract from the fresh ginger peel rather than it's the body of the fresh and the dry ginger, which are pretty much the same. And also for the vitamin C, the fresh ginger has a similar with the dry ginger. So if you want to make a ginger tea, use the fresh ginger with a peel. This is the best. Now we talk about the essential oil. We know fresh ginger has more moisture, so it has over 80% but the dry ginger has less than 10%. So this brings more essential oil from the dry ginger. It is about 1.5% and it's three times higher than from the fresh ginger. We can make a ginger essential oil from either the fresh ginger or dry ginger. Actually, the fresh ginger essential oil has a more oxygenated uh, the terpene, which has more pungent than the essential oil from uh, the dry ginger but if you can get a more essential oil you know three times more from the dry than the fresh ones so you can either use the fresh or dry for your the hydrosol or essential oil making thank you for watching hopefully you learned something about ginger and how to use them fresh or dry and uh, please leave your question in the comments down below Subscribe the channel and need your help to reach the 10,000 uh, milestone. This is Dr. Liu at the lead time. See you next time.